Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to make this uh, Lego Mercedes Benz Silver Lightning concept from Ash Friday 8 and uh, other games. You can have a look at my uh, at the link at the bottom of my description to um, have a look at what it's like and then watch this video to see how to make it. Uh, here are the pieces. Okay, here are all the pieces and just remember that many of the pieces don't have to be used and they can be replaced by other pieces easily. Uh, do be wary that there is a piece of blue tack in here that is when flattened out about the size of one of these 2x2 two two cylinders. Um, that's it, that's really all you need to be warned about. Um, there are a few pieces that might be hard to see but just pause it and get your pieces ready. There's a silver piece over here which you might not have, just to replace it by a grey one, dark grey, whatever, a dark colour. Anyway, uh, watch the next part of the video to see how it is made. Okay, so this is part one, which is the base. Uh, I'm just going to get on with it because I've got a 15 minute deadline that I've got to meet. So, grab this piece. That piece, that piece, each, and that piece. One by two, one by eight, uh, one two by six, and one six by eight. And grab the other one by eight while you're there. Uh, one by eight on there and there, like that. One by six in there, and the one by eight there and there, like that. <coughs> One by four, and another one by four. Oh no, ah, that's two by four, sorry. And then, gonna grab this corner piece and the other corner piece. There, there are a few. Uh, four of these one by one slopes on there, there. There and there. Then these pieces here, which go on there, like that. Then these pieces for the sideboards, one by six plates and a uh, tile, sorry, uh, two of those one by six tiles, and some more one by one slopes at the end of the one by six. Tiles there, like that. Then you grab this and that, no, sorry, that there, and then the remaining pieces. Put those on the end there, like that, and then make two of those just for later. Okay, so here's part two, which is the body. I've split it into about uh, five or six main pieces. Um, here's the first piece, which is the tail. So you get that round piece and all of your red, these have to be red, because they're not really any other optional colors. Uh, this is for the the brake line, the brake light, which is just a continuous line going around the bo the back. So place them like that, stacked there, and just one high there. Then this and that, and you're going to put them on like that, and they're red because they're um, a stripe. A stripe goes down the uh, lightning, the red one. Um, then this 2x4 uh, blue <laughs> doesn't have to be blue I just made it blue because uh, Lego designers like to put taunting colours 
on the inside like on the Shield Helicarrier there's a few pink pieces on the inside can't see them though um, that's the rear end done uh, here's the next part uh, this is like a mid section really and I'm going to build it really quickly these are the pieces you'll need 2x6 and a brick like that and that then the 1x4s there like that and 1x2 preferably black or white or well any other colour whatever okay uh, here's the front section which looks pretty spectacular I like it because it's got a lot of a lot of curved pieces I'm just going to grab all the pieces that you need okay so this piece and uh, one by four, one by four side brick, and two one by twos on there like that, and then these pieces on um, like that there. Um, this has to be red because it continues on the stripe. It doesn't look that effective, but it looks okay. Then these red pieces here for the stripe. And these grill bits, just put that aside for the moment. These two by th uh, one by threes, and all of these blue pieces. If you have any light blue pieces, they'd be um, even better than these dark blue pieces. Don't go for transparent though, because transparent kind of there's a black piece behind this or white piece, but it makes it look a bit worse than these solid blue pieces so now I've made that and again these um, corner pieces attach on like that so there um, and then flip this piece over and put it on there like that and then these one by two tiles on there and that's your front piece done Okay, again, I'm going to grab all the pieces because there's not many. Um, oh, look, they're already there. Okay, so two one by 4s Put them on like that. And uh, more corner pieces. If you don't have any corner pieces, you can probably replace them. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, these one by one pieces on top and on the bottom of the corner pieces that stick out. And just square them up. Uh, one by four and one by four on the bottom. They're like that. So there's the one by one pieces on the top and bottom of the corner pieces. Um, that's a little bit. It was pretty small, but a bit more of the midsection. Okay. So now you're gonna grab. All of your pieces, every single one of them. Yeah, it's a lot of pieces, I know. Um, and then you're gonna put them together. Front piece connects on. No, sorry. This piece here goes in that little slot in there. Then the front piece. No. Yes, yes. The front piece goes in there like that then on that little ledge there this piece it's going to go on there then this piece the rear tail end goes on there then these pieces here go in there like so and then the base connects on there see so that that little one, uh, two by two square goes in that little space in there, right there. And then you're just going to press it down, push it on hard, and then flip it over again and get this piece here and put it on there like that. Then grab all of the remaining pieces apart from the tyres and the blue tack and you start putting these pieces on. All the red pieces, you know, are going to line up in this stripe going down here, apart from the windscreen. 
which goes on there like that. Then this, these white pieces go on there, and these slopes down here to create an aerodynamic effect. Then you're going to grab the tyres, which I've already half assembled after breaking it apart. So, anyway, you put the blue tack on all of the wheels just in that little bit there, like that. Try and get an even amount on each. As you can see, that one and that one have got a bit too much. Um, and then you're going to, the, the wheels are very flimsy, so it's more of a displaying thing. It doesn't move, wheels don't roll. Um, and then you're going to put them on those little things that stick out there. Push it in um, so you can't really see the blue tack. See, look, you can just make out the. No, this one's an example. You can just see the faint line of blue tack there, and then do that for all the wheels. Push it on. See, look, I've got too much blue tack on that wheel, and it's. Yeah, okay, that's a dodgy one. But, yeah, the wheels do bend in a bit. Um, sorry I couldn't make the stand because I'd already broken it up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, there'll probably be a link in my description to my other video which just shows you it. Uh, it's got the stand there if you want to copy it. I don't care if you copy it, just don't put it on YouTube because then that's copyright and anyway um, thanks for watching please subscribe have fun with it see ya